Ladies and gentlemen, we learned this weekend that it is possible to create a Google Slides yearbook portrait page using Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Quick overview. We have a form with first name, last name, and photo. For this example, we use these two websites to create avatars. All this information went into a Google Sheets. Notice at the bottom, we have four tabs. The sorted part is created by using this formula. And you'll notice that it is an alphabetical order by last name. We also had to combine the last names for a moment. And here is the photo. The next part is transposing all this information. One row in a Google Sheets equals one page in a Google Slides. All the names are listed and their photo ID tags are there. Before I move on, I would like to point out that this is the template and we have merge tags. Each merge tag is unique. Now we're not going to go into very big detail at this time on how to create this, but let me show you that we are using Autocrat and launching. My good friend that I met in the Google Plus community yesterday named Joe is going to do a step-by-step -step instruction on how to use Autocrat to do this exact same thing. This is just, hey, it works. I'm going to not create a new job right now. I am going to click on the pencil just to show you the basics. So I have a na job name. I also have my template, which is listed right here, and I'm going to make sure I click on use so that it grabs the tags. I click on next, and I look at the drop down menu. Notice there are four different choices. That's because there are four sheets, and I want to click on use merge. Now, where it says image, it defaults to standard. I have already changed it to image. Notice that on the template, which is right here, we have this photo ID 10. Now it's matching up to that in the Google Sheets. And it does that for the 20 different photo IDs. And when we get down to the name, it's listed as standard. So I click on next. I have a file name. This is not just MEX 16, this is also going to be MEX 18 because I wanted to make sure I had enough names and I've only added 40 people so obviously I don't have everyone. Forgive me, I click on next. I definitely have a destination folder and I can click next. I want to make sure I check two more things, yes. Looking good. Oh, I'm going to go back for a moment because I think I missed something that was really important. Right here where it says type, it's on set to Google Slides and it's also set to single output mode. I click save and I click run. Pay attention to right over here where it's AO and AP and you will notice that we will have links to our documents. Now one error we received earlier is if you do not have enough images to fill the whole page, we did receive an error saying, hey, this isn't working. So we'll come up with solutions in the future, but for right now, let me show you this work. And I have a couple of more things I'm going to have to do until I feel like this is exactly what I want it to be. Down here is grid view. And you'll notice that side by side, that doesn't look right. To fix it, I'm going to come and I'm going to change the layout. And I'm also going to grab these images and move them over. So ladies and gentlemen, look at this. This is a student portrait yearbook spread with images and later, I can add this to our big yearbook, file, download as PDF, send it to the printer, and save our students so much money. Oh, I am super excited. More videos will come later. Have a wonderful day.